There he is. How you doing, sir? Good. How are you? Sir? I'm doing good, man. Go ahead and introduce yourself to everybody. I'm Christian Hamilton. I go. I'm a freshman. I go to Hickory Ridge. Yeah, man. And um, I was just telling everyone right before we came on about you know how impressive it is for a freshman to just come on the scene and make so many big plays last season for a, a very talented team like you have at uh, Hickory Ridge. Yes, sir. Um, before we get to football, of course, we've got a lot of stuff going on in the world. Um, and I don't even know where to start. Um, but we're going to start with the social injustice, the racial issues, all of those things going on. Uh, do you have any thoughts on um, you know, all of those issues that we are all trying to figure out as a society? Uh, it's just crazy in 2020 that we still like, have these problems. Like, it is crazy. Uh, it's up. I guess it's up to us to, to stop that. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. We we've got to find a way to come up with a solution to you know make this world a better place for all of us. Um, you know, it's sad. It's sad. Um, I see some people on here calling you Diggy. So yeah. I'm assuming that's a nickname. Where where did that come from? Uh, really? Uh, I used to listen to. Uh, a singer named Diggy, Diggy Simmons. So I guess I took that name from him. Okay, okay, nice. And it's also my PlayStation. So I get a whole lot. Okay, okay. We're going to get to that in just a minute. Uh, so the coronavirus is still going on. Um, what are you doing to stay ready, you know, with that going on? Because we still can't practice right now. I've been going to the sand pit to work on my, my explosiveness been doing uh working on my starts at the track i also been going to the fields with a couple of my friends mm -hmm. i have a i just recently got a home gym, so i've been lifting like every other day nice nice awesome man good work good work now we've seen you just blow up after a great freshman season and you're getting a lot of offers a lot of attention from some great schools um, number one, what are you looking for in a school on the next level, even though you got a long way to go? And then number two, do you have any favorites, you know, this early in the process? Uh, I'm blessed to have all the offers I have right now. I have it without my family and my team. Mm -hmm. But what I look first and foremost is academics because that's going to take me a long way. That's right. Very good. Is, do any of those schools stand out to you right now, or are we just still trying to, you know, figure out what you want to do? Yeah, still trying to figure out. Very good. Very good. Now, we talked about all those plays you made last season, man. What is the most memorable play that you feel like you made on the field last year? I don't think I remember, but I had a lot of impacts. So, but one of my favorites, to, I would say, is last game versus Glenn. Yeah. The touchdown. I did a comeback snag. Nice, nice. That was second round playoffs at home. Uh, that that was a tough loss, man. That was a tough. And you guys are right there in it. Um, and that's going to lead me to my next question. What is what's it going to take for you guys to get past that next level and contend and to go deeper in the playoffs and you know possibly contend for a state championship? I would say we just got to have more leaders on the team. Mm -hmm. Everybody needs a. They hard that it really do to me, in my opinion. Yeah. Now, even even though you're going to be a sophomore, do you feel like that you know you can step up into a leadership role next season? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Very I good. Got to talk more. Yeah. Now, in that leadership role, I mean, is that something you feel like you need to work on, being more vocal, or yeah. just leading more by example? I need to be more vocal. Okay. Okay, very good. And you've got time, you know, to work on that. But um, you've got the talent, and I think that's going to garner you the respect in the locker room to, to do that. Um, now, you mentioned your uh, PlayStation name, Diggy being a part of that. Uh, yeah. When you're on PlayStation, what kind of games are you playing? Uh, I play Madden 2K. That's really, that's really all I play. Okay. Fortnite no more. <laughs> <laughs> so between Madden and 2K, which one do you think you're the best at? Right now, 2K. Okay. Okay, good. Good. Good stuff, man. Um, who would you like to thank for your football success so far? Uh, my family. 
they supported me all my life. So yeah, and my friends and my good, good, good. I got a comment on it that says you suck at Madden and Fortnite. So they lie. <laughs> Uh, what's it like um, playing for Coach Wilson up there, Hickory Ridge? Uh, he's a good coach. He always he always knows what to do. He mentors us. He just a great person. Very good, very good, man. Excellent. Um, we've got a lot of people on. There's been a lot of comments being said. Some are interesting. <laughs> uh, you have anything you want to say to uh, everyone that's watching you right now? Um, just thank. Thank you guys for supporting me throughout my career, career I guess. Very good. Very good. Uh, last question. Do you have any goals for next season? Uh, I want to I lead the conference in catches and receiving yards. Okay. Okay. I think you guys have the ability to do that uh, with what you got coming back. I've seen all the big offense linemen up there. Uh, the skill talent that's uh, moving up from the JV, man, I'm excited to see how you guys perform this season. Um, once again, in the comments, everyone is saying we love Diggy and can we get an autograph from Diggy? So it's it's great to see that, that you have a lot of love out there, man. That's it's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man, I appreciate you coming on tonight. And, um, you know, I wish you much more success in the next three years ahead, man. I'm excited for your career. Thank you so much. Thanks for giving me the opportunity.